Okay, boys and girls, once you have glued on all of the letters to make your positive message on your cardboard using your phone, making sure your letters are flipped and they're backwards, each of the words are backwards, then you can make your printing um, pictures. So what you're gonna start with first is actually making a background color. I want you to make at least three background colors. So you can use any color scheme, but your goal is to make the background look kind of abstract. So that means you're not painting anything specific, you're just kind of mixing colors to make designs in the background. So what you can do is take a little paint tray and you can squirt some colors on here. You have to make sure your colors are light colors because we're going to eventually use black for the letters and we want them to show up against a light background. So I'm using some neon colors, some white. If I really wanna use a color like blue, that's fine. But what I have to do is actually make sure I mix it with white to make it maybe like a lighter blue. I can't use a dark blue, green or purple. So I'm going to use my paint tools. Next to the sink, there are some tools that look like this. There's a whole bunch of tools that you can use to make different designs with your paint. There's some sponges, there's some rollers, and things like that. So I can take my sponge, if that's how I wanna start, and just be kind of creative. I don't really have a plan here. I'm just trying to kind of mix some colors to make an abstract color background. And if I make a mistake, it's okay. I'm gonna keep going and I can paint over it. So again, there's no right or wrong answer for the color background. We're just trying to kind of make an abstract looking background. So I can paint some colors. I can also take some of the tools and I can make designs. So I can make kind of like a texture in the paint using my tools. I can take my colors and kind of make a pattern in the background if I like. And it doesn't really matter. I'm not really trying to make shapes. I'm not really trying to make words or pictures. I'm just doing some abstract colors, maybe lines, maybe some shapes. Um, there's a whole bunch of odd tools that you'll find. You might find some really weird things that you maybe have never painted with before. So it's up to you to just make a creative background. Then you're gonna put these away to dry once you have three. Once they're dry, you can make your print. So I have my dry background and I'm gonna take my printing plate back, that's this. This is what I'm going to put paint on to print onto this paper. So what I'm gonna do first is just have my printing plate on my table and I'm going to get a new plate, just of black paint. And what I'm gonna do is take something called a brayer. It's like a paint roller. And it looks something kind of like this. So this will be on the paint counter and you're just going to roll this black paint out back and forth left to right, up and down, so that it's smooth on your paint tray. Then put this aside. I'm gonna take this black paint on my roller and just roll it onto my letters. I don't have to go onto the cardboard. I just want to make sure my letters are covered. If it gets on the cardboard, that's okay. I wanna make sure this is kind of even. So I'm gonna go and cover the letters once. Then I'm gonna get a little bit more paint. And I'm gonna go back and forth again. So it's best to go left and right, and then up and down on each letter. And once I think I've kind of covered each letter, it looks like there's an even amount of paint, there's no red showing, then I can print this on my colorful paper. So I'm gonna make three prints. I'm gonna print this three times. So now I'm gonna take this and flip it over onto my colorful paper. And I'm just gonna press with my hands, not too rough, kind of like I'm giving the paper a massage in a circle with both hands. And then I'm gonna lift my cardboard up and see how it looks. All right, that looks pretty good. So that's a pretty good print. I think I might need to have to put a little bit more pressure on some of the letters. So if this is happening with your paper, if the letters aren't coming out um, very solid, then that's why we have three papers to print on so we can get a good print on our last try. So what I might wanna use a barren and it looks something kind of like this this is in the bin with the paint rollers so this is something that I can press next time to put more pressure it's like just kind of like a a hard roller um, I can't put my plate back on this though because it won't line up correct so this is my first print I'm gonna put my name on the bottom put it on the drying rack and then try a new print now once I finish my three prints and they're dry um, I can use designs now in the background to add some shapes just like my sketch that I did in my sketchbook. So once this is dry, I can take my paint then and a brush and I can add some patterns. 
So I would suggest to use a small brush and your black paint. And you can add some of your patterns then. So if this is my mural design, my positive message in the middle, and I had some patterns around the outside, I might wanna take my brush then and just start to draw some of these patterns or paint in some of these patterns. So maybe I had a circle pattern that goes around the design to show balance. So my mural design message is in the middle. My pattern is going around. And I'm gonna look at my sketch again to see what did I add for patterns around my design and I'm gonna paint these in. So just like you did on the iPad when you drew these patterns in, this time you're going to just paint them in. You can use other colors besides black. If your mural has different colors besides black, that's okay too. And you can also add some things that maybe weren't in your design. Maybe you are thinking of something that might look good on your design that's not in your sketch, that's okay. You can add some patterns to this. But we wanna make sure it's balanced. It has at least five patterns or more. And we have our positive message in the middle. Okay, so that's my first one. I can put this aside with my name on the bottom here and I can try another print. When I'm trying my second print, I'm gonna take my same plate as before, my paint roller, my black paint, roll some black paint on. If I'm running out, I can squirt some more onto here. Roll my paint on again, and then make my second and my third print. So three prints when you're finished with colorful abstract backgrounds. All right, let's get started.